Hello, my name is James Tracy. I'm a master club fitter at Second Swing Golf. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the questions that we hear all the time. One of the worst questions that you have to ask your uh, foursome uh, off the tee box, which is, why did my golf ball go to the right? It's a common mistake. It's a common miss. And I wanted to go through some of the reasons that a golf ball may not fly down its intended direction and specifically what types of things can make the golf ball go to the right. One of our slogans at Second Swing, it's humorous but sometimes it's true, is that it's not you, it's your clubs. And a lot of times the ball going to the right is a combination of both, right? But the ball can't go to the right unless you hit it with a golf club. So the club always is going to play a role in where your golf ball ends up. And so it's really that moment of collision when that club face and that golf ball connect. What happens in that moment is going to dictate whether your ball goes left, down the middle of the fairway, or where my golf ball likes to go, off to the right. And primarily the reason the ball goes to the right for most scenarios is an open club face. So if I've struck a golf ball, this is my old high school driver, this Nike Sasquatch here for uh, old Nike club fans. And this ball, this driver liked to make the ball go to the right for me, I remember that. And a lot of times when that would happen to me, it was simply because my club face was open at impact. When that ball and club face collide, the angle that that face is in relationship to the target is gonna have a huge influence on where that golf ball ends up. So as a club fitter, whether we're working on a driver or working on a fairway wood or a set of irons or even a putter. If a golfer is missing to the right, we are trying to solve that issue with technology or a club build that's trying to help increase the rate of closure, essentially helping them to square that club face up a little bit faster, a little bit sooner, and a little bit more consistently. This old Nike driver didn't have any real technology to help me with that issue. Now drivers have movable weights when you're moving weight into the heel. By changing the center of gravity on the downswing, that is going to help increase the rate of closure and help dictate a more square or a more closed club face as that club reaches the ball at impact. Adjusting a driver for lie angle, that's available on almost every adjustable driver uh, available to you guys and gals allows a player to start the ball more to the left just by making a golf club more upright. A lot of players get fit for their irons to a more upright lie angle if the toe of the club is down and they're seeing a miss to the right. And adjusting a driver or another metal wood in your bag upright can have the same dramatic impact on getting your miss to the right a little bit more minimized. Other reasons that you might miss the ball to the left could have to do with where you're hitting it on the face. Generally speaking, a miss that's on the toe side of the driver is going to start more to the right. On a, on a driver, a heel miss tends to start more to the left, and that has to do with the bulge and roll of the face. It's not a flat surface. It's a curved surface, and that gearing can start the ball right and turn it to the left if you're hitting it off the toe. And on a heel strike, the ball will start more to the left and want to curve back to the right. So if you find yourself hitting the driver or your irons off the toe consistently when you're not hitting it in the center, that also could be a reason why the golf ball seems to be heading to the right more often than you'd like. Oftentimes the shaft, whether it's the stiffness, the weight, or even the length, those things can contribute to the golf ball going to the right. It still is the club face and the hit location that makes the ball go to the right, but the cause of that tendency might have something to do with the shaft that you're playing. It could be too long and too heavy and stiff, and it doesn't allow you to release the club correctly. For players with a lot of speed, it could be just the opposite. They could be using a shaft that's far too weak, that never catches up and, and unbends from the top of their swing to catch up with their faster club head speed. That could make the ball go to the right, and again, the ball is going right based on how you collided that club with the ball. So as a fitter, to fix a right miss, when I'm not trying to fix the player, I'm trying to fix their equipment, I'm looking for ways to help make the club face rotate to the ball more predictably. And if you have a right miss, it means we need to get the club face to rotate faster, sooner, and get more square by the time your club and the golf ball greet each other at impact. 
the last thing that we sometimes will look for um, when trying to fix a right miss is just working on a player's alignment. Sometimes a right miss might be right where they're aiming. So making sure that you're aware of where your feet, your legs, your torso, your shoulders, your club face, all of the things that you use for alignment, make sure that you know where you're aiming so that when you do deliver your best strike and you make your most centered contact and you hit your straightest ball, it's going straight into the direction that you intended. So all of those things can contribute to a right miss. And hopefully, um, as you work on your swing, as you work on the equipment that's in your bag, you take note of some of these examples. One of the best things you can do right now is give Second Swing uh, a phone call. We have fitters available for phone fittings uh, seven days a week for either a phone call consultation or an online live video chat experience where we can talk through your equipment and make recommendations from clubs that might be available on our website. So if you have any questions for us, feel free to give us a call on our fitting support number or visit secondswing.com for all the latest um, clubs and tech and updates um, as, we, uh, as we head into the golf season. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a great day.